Okay, so we've seen that an important uh, point is that the gravitational force exerted by Earth on an object is what? It is proportional to that object's mass. So, for example, the force of gravity, the gravitational force of the Earth on the Moon is proportional to the mass of the Moon, right? Similarly, the force of the gravitational force of the moon on the earth is proportional to the mass of the earth right so gravitational force again is proportional to the mass okay now the interesting thing here is uh, we know that these two forces are equal okay we know that the magnitude of these two forces is equal. So, the gravitational force must be proportional to the product of their masses. Okay? So, combining this idea together with the inverse square law dependence, we have this, which we, which we have seen before. <coughs> <clears throat> the gravitational force between two objects is proportional to the product of their masses divided by the square of the distance between their centers. Okay? Now, it's important to see that it's, it doesn't say equals here. It says proportional to because we still need some uh, constant. Okay? We still need some constant. So this is important here. All right, so this applies to all mass in the universe. Every piece of matter attracts every other piece of matter. Okay? Perhaps we can stop here, and uh, in the next one we will look at the orbits of the planets.